wonderful. Fine. Yeah. The publisher be catching on. <laughs> Here we clip. And become a user friendly. <laughs> There's a nice chart. I was going to say, they should know. Schubert. And it has Schubert. Never heard of Schubert's dates. I have forgotten. Well, I may have so heard of sorry to tell you that. Oh, 1797. Yeah. So, so really, right there. He was just a baby until the turn of the century. So in the 1800s is when Schubert was writing music. And it's really, um, <coughs> he's in late classical and into the romantic era. Like Beethoven? Like Beethoven, exactly. It's beautiful. Now, the piano had come a long way by the time Schubert came along. Um, Beethoven was born in 1770. That was a lot. Yeah. And the piano, Beethoven really thought the piano was really cool, that it could do all these wonderful things. And he wrote a lot of piano music to exhibit everything the piano could do. And consequently, they all, everybody in the, that lived in that time thought that Beethoven was crazy. I mean, he'd have this big crescendo, and then all of a sudden it'd be piano. He didn't mean crescendo up the piano. He meant crescendo, and then drop studio piano. Didn't some people even think it was a A what? A chain? I mean, some people even went so far as to think it was, you know, shocking. Oh, it, absolutely, and they thought he was crazy. And then walk out. Sam, people would get up and uh, walk out in some of his performances. Oh, I don't know about that. Somebody did that. Jesus. Yeah. Sam, put your chair down uh -oh. and participate yeah. in the class or leave. Well, I just need to shout out. Okay. Because, like, after this, like, the piano's older girl just cried at the entrance because of you. Oh, yeah. It's the biggest news bio on Biography Saturday. They just did Beethoven. Oh, cool. Okay, so everybody thought Beethoven was crazy, and he also used all these chords that were really unusual for that period, and they thought, you know, he can't hear. You know, that's, <laughs> that's the problem. He can't hear what he's doing. That's, you know, he, the man's nuts. And they have, in fact, Beethoven. found a lock of his hair and discovered that he had lead poisoning, I believe, is what it was. 
they found finally a piece of hair, a locket, a curl of hair that somebody had labeled. Wow. From way back. Is that interesting? Wow. Yeah. So he wasn't really totally crazy. I think I don't think he was crazy at all. Hmm? They get poisoned. Who knows? I mean, in the old days, yeah, they, you know, you if you had plates that were made with lead in the paint. Even now, you know how we get lead in the paint from toys that are coming from China. Those Amish toys. Amish. 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 Yeah, Thomas Crane. They said Amish. Yeah, they. Whatever toys our companies are having made in China are coming back with paint that's lead. It's got lead in it. And we haven't had lead paint, allowed lead in paint. Since the 70s. Yeah. yeah. It, it, baby cribs used to be painted in lead, and they found out that babies were chewing on the, the wood of the cribs yeah. and getting sick. Anyway, Schubert is after Beethoven, and he is still experimenting with and showing all the different things a piano can do. He has this first opening phrase, and it's marked what dynamically? Um, don't say forte. No. Forte, forte. Mm-hmm. Out. We talked about this word already. If it's if forte is loud, what's very loud? Forte. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Megan Fox teaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So fortissimo. And it, that much is bum 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 bum. Then the next phrase is what? You don't remember what it is? I think I don't remember. Sam, I need you to be quiet. Same thing. Well, what do you mean? This one goes fortissimo to here, and then the next phrase is okay. Have you ever been in a play? Like, yes. Like on stage, mm-hmm. acting. Mm-hmm. I know Miss Paula has. <laughs> I want you to think of this like a play, that's and you're watching it in the audience, and there are two people on stage, and they're having a conversation or whatever they're doing. One of them is a man, and the other one's a woman. Which one do you think is which? The man is going to be louder. Looks good to me. Okay, so I want to feel like a completely different person when you play that second phrase. Can okay. you do that for us? Notice that this starts with an upbeat, and that phrase begins with an upbeat, and every phrase in here, I should say, begins with an upbeat, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where the ladies' part comes in, right there. Did you hear what Colin just said? What? I thought that was an interesting question. He said it's almost like they're arguing. That is exactly (laughs) what it is. It is exactly. Here's this man standing up there. Domestic violence. Yes, it's domestic violence. (laughs) Domestic. Oh my God! Is it? So this man is saying, what do you think he should be saying to her? Uh, Honey, the house is dirty. Why didn't you do the dishes? And she says, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't know you were going to be home so early. And she's crawling over here, right? That's what I want. No, excuse. Two different, totally totally different characters. Then try to bribe a bitch for the C word. Sure. Where's my dinner? I'll tell you what, no. I'll just conduct. Coach you through it, okay? So it's going to be fortissimo first. He's complaining. Okay. Right. 